Academic Degree, Wikipedia Article Audio An academic degree is a qualification awarded to students upon successful completion of a course of study in higher education, normally at a college or university. These institutions commonly offer degrees at various levels, typically including bachelors, Mastura Euro trademark S and doctorates, often alongside other academic certificates, and professional degrees. The most common undergraduate degree is the bachelor's degree, although in some countries lower qualifications are titled degrees while in others a higher level first degree is more usual. An early type of academic degree was the ajaza, issued at madrasas in the medieval Islamic world since the 8th century. The modern system of academic degrees later evolved and expanded in the medieval university, spreading across the world as the institution did. History Emergence of the Doctora Euro Trademark S and Mastura Euro Trademark S degrees and the Licentiate the origins of the doctorate can be traced back to the Ajaza al-Tadra S.W.A. Alifta in the medieval Islamic madrasa education system. The Ajazat was equivalent to the Doctor of Laws qualification and was developed during the 9th century after the formation of the Madhab legal schools. To obtain a doctorate, a student had to study in a guild school of law usually four years for the basic undergraduate course and at least ten years for a postgraduate course. The doctorate was obtained after an oral examination to determine the originality of the candidate's theses, and to test the student's ability to defend them against all objections, in disputations set up for the purpose which were scholarly exercises practiced throughout the student's career as a graduate student of law. After students completed their postgraduate education, they were awarded doctorates giving them the status of Fakhi, Mufti, and Mudaris, which were later translated into Latin as Magister, Professor, and Doctor respectively. The doctorate appeared in medieval Europe as a license to teach at a medieval university. Its roots can be traced to the early church when the term doctor referred to the apostles, church fathers, and other Christian authorities who taught and interpreted the Bible. The right to grant a licentia docendi was originally reserved to the church which required the applicant to pass a test, to take oath of allegiance and pay a fee. The Third Council of the Lateran of 1179 guaranteed the access a euro now largely free of charge a euro of all able applicants, who were, however, still tested for aptitude by the ecclesiastic scholastic. This right remained a bone of contention between the church authorities and the slowly emancipating universities but was granted by the Pope to the University of Paris in 1231 where it became a universal license to teach. However, while the Licentia continued to hold a higher prestige than the bachelor's degree, it was ultimately reduced to an intermediate step to the magister and doctorate, both of which now became the exclusive qualification for teaching. At the university, Doctoral training was a form of apprenticeship to a guild. The traditional term of study before new teachers were admitted to the Guild of Master of Arts, seven years, was the same as the term of apprenticeship for other occupations. Originally the terms master and doctor were synonymous, but over time the doctorate came to be regarded as a higher qualification than the master degree. Today the terms master, doctor, and professor signify different levels of academic achievement, but in the medieval university they were equivalent terms, the use of them in the degree name being a matter of custom at a university. The earliest doctoral degrees, law a euro legum doctor and medicine a euro medicina doctor reflected the historical separation of all higher university study into these three fields. Over time, 
the DD has gradually become less common outside theology and is now mostly used for honorary degrees, with the title Doctor of Theology being used more often for earned degrees. Studies outside theology, law and medicine were then called philosophy, due to the Renaissance conviction that real knowledge could be derived from empirical observation. The degree title of Doctor of Philosophy is a much later time and was not introduced in England before 1900. Studies in what once was called philosophy are now classified as sciences and humanities. Emergence of the Bachelor's Degree The University of Bologna in Italy, regarded as the oldest university in Europe, was the first institution to confer the degree of doctor in civil law in the late 12th century, it also conferred similar degrees in other subjects, including medicine. The University of Paris used the term master for its graduates, a practice adopted by the English universities of Oxford and Cambridge, as well as the ancient Scottish universities of St Andrews, Glasgow, Aberdeen and Edinburgh. The Evolution of the Terminology of Degrees In the medieval European universities, candidates who had completed three or four years of study in the prescribed texts of the Trivium, and the Quadrivium, together known as the liberal arts, and who had successfully passed examinations held by their master, would be admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Arts, from the Latin baccalaureus, a term previously used of a squire to a knight. Further study, and in particular successful participation in and then moderating of disputations would earn one the Master of Arts degree, from the Latin magister, master, entitling one to teach these subjects. Master of Arts were eligible to enter study under the higher faculties of law, medicine, or theology, and earn first a bachelor's and then master or doctor's degrees in these subjects. Thus a degree was only a step on the way to becoming a fully qualified master a euro hence the English word graduate, which is based on the Latin gratis. The naming of degrees eventually became linked with the subjects studied. Scholars in the faculties of arts or grammar became known as master, but those in theology, medicine, and law were known as doctor. As study in the arts or in grammar was a necessary prerequisite to study in subjects such as theology, medicine, and law, the degree of doctor assumed a higher status than the master degree. This led to the modern hierarchy in which the Doctor of Philosophy, which in its present form is a degree based on research and dissertation is a development from 18th and 19th century German universities, is a more advanced degree than the Master of Arts. The practice of using the term Doctor for PhDs developed within German universities and spread across the academic world. The French terminology is tied closely to the original meanings of the terms. The baccalaureate copyright is conferred upon French students who have successfully completed their secondary education and admits the student to university. When students graduate from university, they are awarded license, much as the medieval teaching guilds would have done and they are qualified to teach in secondary schools or proceed to higher level studies. Spain had a similar structure, the term bachiller was used for those who finished the secondary or high school level education, known as baccalaureato. The standard Spanish university five years degree was licenciado, comma. The highest level was doctor. Degrees awarded by institutions other than universities In the past, degrees have also been directly issued by authority of the monarch or by a bishop, rather than any educational institution. This practice has mostly died out. In Great Britain, Lambeth degrees are still awarded by the Archbishop of Canterbury. 
The Archbishop of Canterbury's right to grant degrees is derived from Peter's Pence Act of 1533 which empowered the Archbishop to grant dispensations previously granted by the Pope. Academic Dress Among educational institutions, St. David's College, Lam Peter was granted limited degree awarding powers by royal charter in the 19th century despite not being a university. University College North Staffordshire was also granted degree awarding powers on its foundation in 1949, despite not becoming a university until 1962. Following the Education Reform Act 1988, many educational institutions other than universities have been granted degree awarding powers, including higher education colleges and colleges of the University of London. Laws on Granting and Use of Degrees In most countries, gaining an academic degree entitles the holder to assume distinctive academic dress particular to the awarding institution, identifying the status of the individual wearing them. In many countries degrees may only be awarded by institutions authorized to do so by the national or regional government. Frequently governments will also regulate the use of university in names of businesses. This approach is followed, for example, by Australia and the United Kingdom. The use of fake degrees by individuals, either obtained from a bogus institution or simply invented, is often covered by fraud laws. Indicating Earned Degrees Depending on culture and the degree earned, degrees may be indicated by a pre-nominal title, post-nominal letters, a choice of either, or not indicated at all. In countries influenced by the UK, post-nominal letters are the norm, with only doctorates granting a title, while titles are the norm in many Northern European countries. Depending on the culture and the purpose of the listing, only the highest degree, a selection of degrees, or all degrees might be listed. The awarding institution may also be shown, and it might be specified if a degree was at honors level, particularly where the honors degree is a separate qualification from the ordinary bachelor's degree. For member institutions of the Association of Commonwealth Universities, there is a standard list of abbreviations for university names given in the Commonwealth Universities Yearbook, but in practice many variations are used and the yearbook notes that the abbreviations used may not match those used by the universities concerned. For some British universities it is traditional to use Latin abbreviations, notably Oxon and Cantab for the universities of Oxford and Cambridge respectively, in spite of these having been superseded by English Oxf and Chem in official university usage, particularly in order to distinguish the Oxbridge Ma from an earned Ma. Other Latin abbreviations commonly used include Cantuar for Lambeth degrees, Dunalm for Durham University, Eber for the University of York and Exon for the University of Exeter. The ancient universities of Scotland and the University of London have abbreviations that are the same in English and Latin. Confusion can result from universities sharing similar names, e.g. the University of York in the UK and York University in Canada or Newcastle University in the UK and the University of Newcastle in Australia. In this case, the convention is to include a country abbreviation with the university's name. For example, York and York or Nook and Nook are commonly used to denote degrees conferred by these universities where the potential for confusion exists, and institution names are given in this form in the Commonwealth Universities Yearbook. Abbreviations used for degrees vary between countries and institutions, e.g. MS indicates Master of Science in the U.S. and places following American usage, but Master of Surgery in the U.K. and most Commonwealth countries, 
where the standard abbreviation for Master of Science is MSc. Common abbreviations include BA and MA for Bachelor and Master of Arts, BS BSc and MS MSc for Bachelor and Master of Science, MD for Doctor of Medicine, and PhD for Doctor of Philosophy. Online Degree An online degree is an academic degree that can be earned primarily or entirely through the use of an internet-connected computer, rather than attending college in a traditional campus setting. Improvements in technology, the increasing use of the internet worldwide, and the need for people to have flexible school schedules that enable them to work while attending school have led to a proliferation of online colleges that award associates, bachelors, masters, and doctoral degrees. Degree Systems by Regions Bangladesh, India and Pakistan mostly follow the colonial era British system for classification of degrees. The arts, referring to the performing arts and literature, have the corresponding degrees, Bachelor of Arts and the Master of Arts. Management degrees are also classified under arts but is nowadays considered a major new stream. Bachelor of Business Administration and Master of Business Administration. Science referring to the basic sciences and natural science the corresponding degree are Bachelor of Science and its master is called Master of Science. Another new set of information technology degree conferred specially in the field of computer science. Bachelor of Science in Information Technology and Master of Science in Information Technology. The engineering degrees in India follow two common patterns. Bachelor of Engineering and Bachelor of Technology both representing a bachelor's degree in engineering and Pakistan engineering degrees are Bachelor of Engineering and B.Sc. Engineering both are same in curriculum, duration, and pattern. Whereas B.Tech degree holders in Pakistan are not considered as engineers as per Pakistan Engineering Council criteria for engineers they are considered as technologists in Pakistan. Medical degree A Euro Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, Bachelor of Dental Surgery Bachelor of Computer Application and Master of Computer Application. The traditional two-cycle system of magister slash diplom followed by the doctorate, and, the three-cycle system of bachelor, master, and doctorate as defined by the Bologna process. Sri Lanka as many other Commonwealth countries follow the British system with its own distinctions. Degrees are approved by the University Grants Commission. Grading in Tunisia is done on a scale of 0 to 20. The passing grade is 10 out of 20 which is 50% of the complete mark, 20. This grading system is used from middle school up to university level. A PhD thesis is even graded out of 20. Bachelor I and Field of Study, CAND. Plus Latin abbreviation of Field of Study. Ph.D., D.R. Plus Latin abbreviation of field of study. To get ahead on the academic ladder, one is strictly assessed numerically. That is, if you are a B.A. holder applying for an MA program you will be admitted according to how high your grades were during your undergraduate years. Asia Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan Sri Lanka Africa Since the Convention on the Recognition of Qualifications Concerning Higher Education in the European Region in 1997 and the Bologna Declaration in 1999, higher education systems in Europe are being harmonized through the Bologna process, based on a three-cycle hierarchy of degrees. Bachelor's slash license a euro master's a euro doctorate, with the later addition of a short cycle to cover sub-bachelor's qualifications. 
This system is gradually replacing the two-stage system previously used in some countries, and is combined with other elements such as the European credit transfer and accumulation system and the use of diploma supplements to make comparisons between qualifications easier. The improbe du tisk phase, after finishing this phase a student can follow another two-year study, which grants equivalence to the Anglo-Saxon BSc, BA, or LLB, the Dr. Orala phase, completing the first phase successfully gives the student access to the second phase. Again, failure to finish within the time given will lead to discontinuation. This phase is concluded with the doctoral examen. This is not similar to any type of doctoral exam that would grant the student with any type of PhD title. Successful completion however does grant the student the Dutch degree of doctors. Doctorandus, IR, or Mr. Nowadays these Dutch titles have been largely replaced by the Anglo-Saxon titles MSc, MA, and LLM, depending on the area of study. The European Higher Education Area was formally established in 2010 and as of September 2016 has 50 members. Implementation of the various elements of the EHEA varies. 24 countries have fully implemented a national qualifications framework, and a further 10 have a framework but have not yet certified it against the overarching framework. In 38 countries ECTS credits are used for all higher education programs, 31 countries have fully implemented diploma supplements, and only 11 countries have included all the major points of the Lisbon Recognition Convention in national legislation. From 2008, the European Union has been developing the European Qualifications Framework. This is an eight-level framework designed to allow cross-referencing of the various national qualifications frameworks. While it is not specific to higher education, the top four levels correspond to the short cycle, first cycle, second cycle, and third cycle of the EHEA. In Austria, there are currently two parallel systems of academic degrees. Licensed job title A Euro given by a university, the equivalent of Bachelor of Arts degree or Bachelor of Science degree, granted after at least three years of study, INA 1 fourth in IR title A Euro Engineer's degree given by a technical university, granted after at least 3.5 to 4 years of study. Magister or Magister INA 1 fourth in IR title A Euro the equivalent of a Master of Arts or Master of Science degree, granted after 5 A Euro 6 years of study, or 1.5 A Euro 2 years of additional study by holders of a bachelor degree with Classification of Honours degree, Doctor degree A Euro the equivalent of Doctor of Philosophy, Dr. Habilitowany degree A Euro Polish Habilitation degree, requires approval by an external ministerial body, Professor degree A Euro the highest title, officially conferred by the President of Poland. With a few exceptions, the two-cycle degree system will be phased out by 2010. Some of the established degree naming has, however, been preserved allowing universities to award the Diplom Ingenieur to graduates of the new style master programs. The Czech Republic implemented Bologna process so there are basically three degrees, Bachelor, Master, and Doctor. There are also voluntary academic titles called small doctorates achieved after rigorosum exam. Medical students don't get bachelor's or master's degrees, Instead they study six years and after obligatory rigorosum exam they get title MUDR or MDDR for dentists or MVDR for veterinary physicians. They can also get big doctorate after another three years of studies. Tunisia
bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and small doctorates in the form of shortcuts are listed before name of person, doctor degree is listed after name. Czechs are very proud of their academic degrees and titles therefore its omission is considered disrespectful. Before the adaptation to international standards, the lowest degree that would normally be studied at universities in Denmark was equivalent to a master's degree. Officially, bachelor's degrees was always obtained after three years university studies. Various medium-length professional degrees have been adapted so they now have status as professional bachelor's degrees of varying length and opposed to academic bachelor's degrees they are considered to be applied degrees. A professional bachelor's degree is 180 or 210 or 240 ECTS points. Europe Austria Czech Republic The academic degrees available at universities are Historically the Finnish higher education system is derived from the German system. The current system of higher education comprises two types of higher education institutions, the universities and the polytechnics, many of whom refer to themselves as universities of applied sciences with the exception of few fields such as medicine and dentistry. The Finnish system of higher education degrees is in compliance with the Bologna process. Universities award bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and doctoral degrees. In most fields the system of doctoral degrees is two-tier, the degree of licentiate is an independent academic degree but completing the degree of doctor does not require completion of a licentiate degree. The polytechnics have the right to award bachelor's and master's degrees, the degree titles of are distinct from the titles used for university degrees. In general, students who are admitted to bachelor studies at a university have the right to continue to studies at master level. At polytechnics, the right to continue to master level studies has to be applied for separately, and there is also a work experience requirement. The majority of master's degree holders have graduated from university. The degrees awarded by the universities and polytechnics are at PAR by law, but the content and orientation of studies is different. A master's degree obtained at a polytechnic gives the same academic right to continue studies at doctoral level as a master's degree obtained at a university. The French national education system makes a distinction between a diplôme national and diplôme universitaire. The former, which are considered higher status, are controlled by the state and issued by universities on behalf of the responsible ministry, the latter are controlled and granted by the universities themselves. Additionally, private providers may be recognized by the state and then, after five years of recognition, have their degrees validated by the state, the validation having to be renewed every six years. Historically, academic degrees were orientated towards research and the vocational education system awarded only diplomas. Since the implementation of the Bologna process in France, things are going towards a simplification, Schools continue to deliver their own diplomas, but the state recognition and degree awarding is far more ranged than before. Diploma courses such as the Technological University Diploma and the Technologist's Certificate are now recognized as short-cycle qualifications worth 120 ECTS credits, allowing progression from these to academic qualifications. Nonetheless, there are diplomas in France with no degree recognition, e.g. specific diplomas designed by various institutions with no recognition from the Ministry of Education, such as the Mastery Spa Copyright Chalisa Copyright or the Sciences Po Bachelor. Denmark The recognized degrees fall in three levels, 
following the qualifications framework of the European Higher Education Area. These are the license, master, and doctorate. All license degrees are three years in length and all master's degrees are two years in length. There are also five-year engineer's degrees, which are master's degree. In addition to the doctorate, which is always a research degree, the Diplomie d'état de docteur en ma copyright dessin and the Diplomie d'état de docteur va copyright ta copyright renaire are also considered third cycle qualifications. Traditionally in Germany, students graduated after four to six years either with a magister degree in social sciences, humanities, linguistics, and the arts or with a diploma degree in natural sciences, economics, business administration, political science, sociology, theology and engineering. Those degrees were the first and at the same time highest non-PhD slash doctorate title in many disciplines before its gradual replacement by other, Anglo-Saxon inspired master's and bachelor's degrees under the Bologna process. The magister and diploma awarded by universities, both of which require a final thesis, are considered equivalent to a master's degree, although the diploma awarded by a Fach Hochschule is at bachelor's degree level. A special kind of examination is the Stats Examen. It is not an academic degree but a government licensing examination that future doctors, dentists, teachers, lawyers, judges, public prosecutors, patent attorneys, and pharmacists have to pass in order to be eligible to work in their profession. Students usually study at university for three to six year, depending on the field, before they take the first stats examen. While this is normally at master's level, a few courses, which have a standard study period of three years, are assigned to bachelor's level. After the first stats examen, teachers and lawyers go through a form of pupillage, the Vorberia Tungsdienst, for two years, before they are able to take the second stats examen, which tests their practical abilities in their jobs. At some institutions pharmacists and jurists can choose whether to be awarded the first stats examen or a master's degree. Since 1999, the traditional degrees have been replaced by bachelor's and master's degrees as part of the Bologna process. The main reasons for this change are to make degrees internationally comparable and to introduce degrees to the German system which take less time to complete. Some universities were initially resistant to this change, considering it a displacement of a venerable tradition for the pure sake of globalization. However, universities had to fulfill the new standard by the end of 2007. Enrollment into Diplom and Magister programs is no longer possible. However, programs leading to Stats examen did usually not make the transition to Bologna degrees. Doctorates are issued with various designations, depending on the faculty, e.g., Dr. der Nature Wissenschaften, Dr. der Rechtswissenschaften, Dr. der Medizin, Dr. der Philosophie, to name just a few. Multiple doctorates and honorary doctorates are often listed and even used in forms of address in German-speaking countries. A diplom, magister, master's or stats examen student can proceed to a doctorate. Well-qualified bachelor's graduates can also enroll directly into PhD programs after a procedure to determine their aptitude administered by the admitting university. The doctoral degree is the highest academic degree in Germany and generally a research degree. The degree drive MED for medical doctors has to be viewed differently. Medical students usually write their doctoral theses right after they have completed studies, without any previous conducted scientific research, just as students in other disciplines write a diplom, magister or master's thesis. Higher doctorates 
such as the Doctor of Science degree in the UK, are not present in the German system. However, sometimes incorrectly regarded as a degree, the habilitation is a higher academic qualification in Germany, Austria and Switzerland that allows further teaching and research endorsement after a doctorate. It is earned by writing a second thesis or presenting a portfolio of first author publications in an advanced topic. The exact requirements for satisfying a habilitation depend on individual universities. The HABIL, as it is abbreviated to represent that a habilitation has been awarded after the doctorate, was traditionally the conventional qualification for serving at least as a privat doesn't in an academic professorship. Some German universities no longer require the habilitation, although preference may still be given to applicants who have this credential, for academic posts in the more traditional fields. Ireland operates under a national framework of qualifications. The school leaving qualification attained by students is called the leaving certificate. It is considered level 4 to 5 on the framework. This qualification is the traditional route of entry into third level education. There are also level 5 qualifications in certain vocational subjects awarded by the Further Education and Training Awards Council. Advanced certificates at level 6 are also awarded by FETAC. The Higher Education and Training Awards Council award the following, a higher certificate at level 6, an ordinary bachelor's degree at level 7, an honors bachelor's degree or higher diploma at level 8, a master's degree or postgraduate diploma at level 9, a doctoral degree or higher doctorate at level 10. These are completed in institutes of technology or universities. In Italy access to university is possible after gaining the diploma di maturita at 19 years of age, following five years of study in a specific high school focused on certain subjects. After gaining the diploma one can enter university and enroll in any curriculum, all high school diplomas allow access to any university curriculum, although most universities have pre-admission tests. Finland France In 2011, Italy introduced a qualifications framework, known as the Quadro Dei Titali Italiani, tied to the three cycles of the Bologna process. This tied together in a three-level system both the new qualifications introduced as part of the Bologna process and the older, pre-Bologna qualifications, and covers qualifications from university institutions and higher education institutions for fine arts, music, and dance. In addition to academic degrees, Many professional qualifications are tied to the QTI at the different levels. The first level, tied to the first cycle of the Bologna process, covers the laurea in universities, and the diploma accademico di primo livello in AFAM institutions. The older qualifications mapped to this level are the Diploma Universitario and the Diploma Discuole di Reta Fini Speciali from universities, and the Diploma di Conservatorio, Diploma di Istituto Musicale Paragiato, Diploma dell'Accademia di Belle Arti, Diploma dell'Istituto Superiore dell'Industria Artistica. Diploma dell'Accademia Nazionale di Danza and Diploma dell'Accademia Nazionale di Arte Dramatica from AFAM institutions. The laurea is obtained after three years of study, and gives the academic title of daughtery. The older university qualifications at this level took two to three years, with three year courses granting the title of daughtery. Germany The second level, tied to the second cycle of the Bologna process, covers the Laurea Magistrale and the Laurea Specialistica in university institutions and the Diploma Accademico di Secondo Livello in AFAM institutions. 
The old Diploma de Loria is mapped to this level. The Loria Magistrale and the Loria Specialistica are obtained after two further years of study, and give the academic title of Dottery Magistrale. The old Diploma de Loria took four to six years but was accessed directly from school, with a possible reduction by one year for those with a related diploma, and also granted the title of Dottery Magistrale. Ireland Italy Netherlands Admission Pre-Bologna Phases Bachelor-slash-Master Structure Academic Title Bearing Norway Poland Russia, Ukraine, and some other former USSR republics Spain Sweden Switzerland United Kingdom The third level, tied to the third cycle of the Bologna process, covers the Dottorato di Ricerca in university institutions and the Diploma Accademico di Formazione alla Ricerca in AFAM institutions. The old Dottorato di Ricerca and Diploma di Specializzazione are tied to this level. The Dottorato di Ricerca, under both new and old systems, takes a minimum of three years after the Loria Magistralia slash Specialistica and gives the academic titles of Dottori di Ricerca and Ph.D. The old Diploma di Specializzazione took two to six years and gave the academic title of Specialista. Universities in Italy offer a number of other qualifications including the Master Universitario di Primo Livello and the Master Universitario di Secondo Livello, following on from the Loria and the Loria Magistrale slash Specialistica respectively. These do not give access to the PhD. The Diploma di Specializzazione, which is offered in a few specific professions, takes two to six years and gives the title of Specialista. The Diploma di Perfezionamento is a university certificate, aimed at professional training or in specific study fields, which usually takes one year, it is not allocated a level on the framework. AFAM institutions may offer Diploma di Perfezionamento o Master and Diploma Académico di Specializzazione. These are one-year and two-year qualifications respectively and may be offered at second cycle or third cycle level, distinguished by adding or after the qualification name. Higher schools for language mediators offer the Diploma de Mediator Linguistico, a first cycle degree taking three years, which gives access to the Loria Specialistica. Specialization institutes slash schools in psychotherapy offer the Diploma de Specializzazione in Psychotherapia, a third cycle qualification taking at least four years and requiring a Loria Magistrale slash Specialistica in either psychology or medicine and surgery, along with professional registration. In the Netherlands, the structure of academic studies was altered significantly in 1982 when the Tweefazen structure was introduced by the Dutch Minister of Education, Wim Dietman. With this two-phase structure an attempt was made to standardize all the different studies and structure them to an identical timetable. Additional effect was that students would be persuaded stringently to produce results within a preset time frame or otherwise discontinue their studies. The two-phase structure has been adapted to a bachelor-master structure as a result of the Bologna process. In order for a Dutch student to get access to a university education, the student must complete a six-year pre-university secondary education called Vurberia dent Wetan Chapelig under Wages. There are other routes possible, but only if the end level of the applicant is comparable to the two levels is access to university education is granted. For some studies, specific end levels or disciplines are required, e.g., 
graduating without physics, biology and chemistry will make it impossible to study medicine. People 21 years old or older who do not have the required entrance diplomas may opt for an entrance exam for being admitted to a higher education curriculum. In this exam, they have to prove their command of disciplines considered necessary for pursuing such study. After September 1, 2002 they would be thus admitted to a bachelor's curriculum, not to a master's curriculum. For some studies in the Netherlands, a governmental determined limited access is in place. This is a limitation of the number of applicants to a specific study, thus trying to control the eventual number of graduates. The most renowned studies for their numerous clauses are medicine and dentistry. Every year a combination of the highest pre-university graduation grades and some additional conditions determine who can start such a numerous clauses study and who can not. Almost all Dutch universities are government-supported universities, with only very few privately owned universities in existence. Leiden University is the oldest, founded in 1575. Before the introduction of the bachelor-master structure, almost all academic studies in the Netherlands had the same length of four years and had two phases. For medical students the doctorandus degree is not equivalent to the European Anglo-Saxon postgraduate research degree in medicine of MD. Besides the title doctorandus, the graduates of the curious curriculum may also bear the title arts. The doctorandus in medicine title is granted after four years of the curious curriculum, while the title physician is granted after six years of that curriculum. The Dutch physician title is equal to a MSc degree according to the Bologna process, and can be compared with the MBBS in the UK degree system, and the North American MD, but not the UK MD degree, which is a research degree. One-on-one -on -one equivalence or interchangeability of the Dutch medical title and MD is often suggested. However, officially the MD title is not known, nor legal to use in the Netherlands. The correct notation for a Dutch physician who completed his or her medical studies, but did not pursue a doctor study is doctors. And not DR. In medicine, as often used incorrectly. However, like in the United Kingdom, physicians holding these degrees are referred to as doctor by courtesy. In the Netherlands, there is the informal title doctor for physicians, but not doctor, unless they also earn such degree by completing a PhD curriculum. Furthermore, the doctorandus degree does not give a medical student the right to treat patients, for this a minimum of two years additional study is required. After obtaining a medical board registration, Dutch physicians must work an additional two to six years in a field of expertise to become a registered medical specialist. Dutch surgeons commonly are only granted access to surgeon training and positions after obtaining a doctorate successfully. In recent years, the six-year-old Curious curriculum has been replaced with a three-year Bachelor Curious and followed by a three-year Master Curious Plus. Those who had already begun their old-style Curious curriculum before that will still have to complete it as a six-year study. A doctorandus in law uses the title meester instead of doctors, and some studies like for example technique and agriculture grant the title engineer instead of DRS. These titles as equivalent to an LLM and to a MSc, and if got before September 1, 2002 from a recognized Dutch university, may be rendered as M behind one's name instead of using the typical Dutch shortcuts before one's name. Since September 1, 2002, Dutch universities offer specific BSc, BA or LLB studies followed by MSc, MA or LLM studies, 
thus integrating into and merging with the international scientific community, offering lectures, other classes, seminars, or complete curricula in English instead of Dutch. According to their field of study, MSc graduates may use either IR or doctors before their names, MA graduates may use doctors before their name and LLM graduates may use MR before their names, but only if they received such degrees from recognized Dutch universities. Not uncommonly, the Dutch doctors. Abbreviation can cause much confusion in other countries since it is perceived as a person who has a Ph.D. in multiple disciplines. In the Netherlands, the degree MPhil is not legally recognized. After successfully obtaining a doctor's, IR, or Mr. degree, a student has the opportunity to follow a promotion study to eventually obtain a doctorate, and subsequently the title doctor. Promotion studies are structured ideally according to a preset time schedule of four to six years, during which the student has to be mentored by at least one professor. The promotion study has to be concluded with at least a scientific thesis, which has to be defended to a gathering of his slash her peers, in practice the board of the faculty with guest professors from other faculties and slash or universities added. More and more common, and in some disciplines even mandatory, is that the student writes and submits scientific publications to peer-reviewed journals, which eventually need to be accepted for publication. The number of publications is often debated and varies considerably between the various disciplines. However, in all disciplines the student is obligated to produce and publish a dissertation or thesis in book form. All current Dutch academic education programs are offered in the Anglo-Saxon bachelor-slash-master structure. It takes three years to earn a bachelor's degree and another one or two years to earn a master's degree. There are three official academic bachelor titles and three official master titles. These academic titles are protected by the Dutch government. After obtaining a doctorate, Dutch doctors may bear either the title DR before, or the letter D following their name, but not both simultaneously. There is no specific notation of the discipline in which the doctorate is obtained. Stacking of the titles as seen in countries such as Germany is highly uncommon in the Netherlands and not well received culturally. Those who have multiple doctor titles may use DR multiple before their name, but this is seldomly seen in practice. The honoris cause doctors may use DRH.C before their name. Combining different Dutch titles especially in different disciplines, is allowed however. The use of the combination ir -ing is frequent, indicating one holds a HBO, vocational engineering degree together with an academic engineering degree. What is not allowed is, after obtaining a doctorate, using DRDRS. Janssen, DR. Janssen should be used instead. A combination of a Dutch title with an international title is not allowed, except for some limited number of international professional titles. Thus, one should choose either one's classical Dutch title, or use the shortcut provided by the law following one's name. Hence, formal use of the Anglo Saxon PhD following one's name is not legal as it is not a Dutch degree. However, its use is commonly used for clarity towards international readers, for example English publications. The law provides the option of using the shortcut D following one's name instead of DR before one's name. Doctors can proceed to teach at universities as universitaire docent. With time, experience, and slash or achievement, this can evolve to a position as universitaire hoofdescent. 
officially an UHD still works under the supervision of a Huglarar, the head of the department and commonly a professor. However, this is not a given, it is also possible that a department is headed by a plain doctor, based on knowledge, achievement, and expertise. The position of Huglarar is the highest possible scientific position at a university, and equivalent to the U.S. full professor. The Dutch Professor S. title, noted as Prof. Janssen or Professor Janssen, is connected to one's employment. This means that, should the professor leave the university, he or she also loses the privilege to use the title of professor. Retired professors are an exception, and may continue to note the title in front of their name, or use the title emeritus professor. People who switch to a non-university job lose their professor title, and are only allowed to use the DR. Abbreviation Unlike some other European countries such as Germany, Dutch academic titles are used rarely outside academia hold no value in everyday life, and typically are not listed on official documentation communication. Dutch academic titles however are legally protected and can only be used by graduates from Dutch institutions of higher education. Illegal use is considered a misdemeanor and subject to legal prosecution. Holders of foreign degrees therefore need special permission before being able to use a recognized Dutch title, but they are free to use their own foreign title. In practice, the public department does not prosecute the illegal use of a protected title. Prior to 1980, there were around 50 different degrees and corresponding education programs within the Norwegian higher education system. Degrees had titles that included the gender-based Latin term candidatus slash candidata. The second part of the title usually consisted of a Latin word corresponding to the profession or training. For example, can.mag. Required four to five years, can.real. Required six years of study in a scientific thesis in a select set of scientific disciplines. Over the years these were replaced gradually with degrees that were more and more internationally comparable programs and corresponding titles. For example, the degree CAND. CANT. Replaced CAND. Real. In the period 1985 to 2003. These degrees were all retired in 2003 in favor of an international system. The reform of higher education in Norway, Kvalitetsreformen, was passed in the Norwegian parliament, the Storting, in 2001 and carried out during the 2003-2004 academic year. It introduced standard periods of study and the titles Master and Bachelor. The system differentiates between a free master's degree and a master's degree in technology. The latter corresponds to the former civil engineer degree. All pre-2001 doctoral degree titles were replaced with the title Philosophical Doctor Degree, written Philosophia Doctor. The title DR Philosophy is a substantially higher degree than the PhD, and is reserved for those who qualify for such a degree without participating in an organized doctoral degree program. In Poland the system is similar to the German one. Since 1992, Russian higher education has introduced a multilevel system, enabling higher education institutions to award and issue Bachelor of Science and Master of Science degrees. In Russia, Ukraine, and some other former USSR republics educational degrees are awarded after finishing college education. There are several levels of education one must choose between second and third year usually on the third year of study. Usually specialist or magister degrees incorporates bachelor's degree in them, 
but only high-level degree is stated in final diploma. Specialist and magister degrees require taking final state exams and written work on practical application of studied skills or research thesis and is roughly equivalent to master's degree. The first level academic degree is called Candidate Knock. This degree requires extensive research efforts, taking some classes, publications in peer-reviewed academic journals, taking three or more exams and writing and defending an in-depth thesis called a dissertation. Finally, there is a Dr. Nock degree in Russia and some former USSR academic environment. This degree is granted for contributions in a certain field. It requires discovery of new phenomenon, or development of new theory, or essential development of new direction, etc. There is no equivalent of this Doctor of Sciences degree in U.S. academic system. It is roughly equivalent to habilitation in Germany, France, Austria, and some other European countries. In countries with a two-tier system of doctoral degrees, the degree of candidate Knox should be considered for recognition at the level of the first doctoral degree. In countries with only one doctoral degree, the degree of candidate Knox should be considered for recognition as equivalent to this degree. According to guidelines for the recognition of Russian qualifications in the other countries in countries with a two-tier system of doctoral degrees, the degree of Dr. Knox should be considered for recognition at the level of the second doctoral degree. In countries in which only one doctoral degree exists, the degree of Dr. Knox should be considered for recognition at the level of this degree. According to International Standard Classification of Education UNESCO 2011, PAR 262 for purposes of international educational statistics. Spain's higher education legal framework includes official and accredited education and non-official education. 1.1 Official and Accredited Education In Spain, accreditation of official university study programs is regulated by law and monitored by governmental agencies responsible for verifying their quality and suitability for official approval and accreditation. Official professional study programs lead to degree qualifications with full academic and professional effects and the degrees awarded in accordance with the latest higher education system are 1. Bachelora Euro Trademark S Degree A Euro 240 ECTS Credits in 4 Years 2. Mistura Euro Trademark S Degree A Euro 60 to 120 ECTS Credits in 1 A Euro 2 Years 3 doctoral degree PhD A Euro and 3 A Euro 4 years. Accredited bachelor's degrees and master's degrees qualifications will always be described as grado and master universitario. These qualifications comply with the European Higher Education Area Framework. Officially approved and accredited university study programs must implement this framework by law in order to attain and retain accreditation in Spain. 1.2 Non-Official Education Not all EHEA compliant study programs in Spain are officially approved and slash or accredited by government agencies. Some universities offer proprietary study programs as an alternative to accredited study programs for a variety of reasons, attending the continuing education market for individual self-advancement and also providing higher education to individuals that have failed to acquire bachelor's degree qualifications. The main reason for offering this alternative studies, though, is the heavy bureaucratic process that needs to be accomplished to receive the approval of specific titles, in particular when it refers to new studies or studies about matters that do not fit with the official studies. For historical reasons, 
the academic system has been very much under the control of the state, and private universities are still regarded with as a threat to the state system. These programs fall within the category of non-officially approved and accredited or a studios no officials and they have no academic or professional effects. This means that they do not entitle the bearer to claim to have any specific academic or professional qualifications, as far as the Spanish authorities are concerned. However, there may be private agreements to recognize the titles. Universities offering non-official study programs are legally bound to clearly differentiate between officially approved and non-officially approved qualifications when naming their offer of non-official qualifications. Non-accredited master's degrees will be described as master on its own, without the term universitario. Certain non-officially approved and accredited study programs may acquire a well-deserved reputation. However, neither professional association, government agencies, judiciary authorities, nor universities other than the study program provider are obliged to recognize non-official qualifications in any way. 2. Accreditation System University-taught study programs accreditation is granted through the ANICA a government-dependent quality assurance and accreditation provider for the Spanish higher education system and ensures that the data held in the RUCT, a national registry for universities and qualifications, is correct and up-to-date. All study programs must be accredited by ANICA prior to their inclusion in the RUCT. The RUCT records all officially approved universities and their bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and PhDs, and each and every one of the officially approved and accredited study programs and universities are assigned a specific number code by the RUCT. The same study program may acquire different codes as it progresses through various stages of official approval by local government and central government. Prospective students should check the RUCT code awarded to the study program of their interest at every stage of their inquiries concerning degrees in Spain. ANICA makes recommendations regarding procedures, staffing levels, quality of teaching, resources available to students, and continuity or loss of accreditation and the ANICA registry records all events in the life of an officially approved and accredited study program or a university. The ANICA registry search facility may be the simplest and safest way to verify the status of all officially approved and accredited study programs in Spain. It is also possible to track qualifications by using the search facility that several autonomous communities' own accreditation agencies offer. These agencies work within the ANICA framework, and generally show more detailed information about the study programs available in each territory. 3. Qualifications Framework for Higher Education the Qualifications Framework for Higher Education MESAS is the reference framework adopted in Spain in order to structure degree levels. Not all universities offer degrees named exactly the same, even if they have similar academic and professional effects. Each university may present proposals for the study program considered to meet professional and academic demand. The proposal will consist of a report linking the study program being considered and the proposed qualification to be awarded. This report will be assessed by ANICA and sent for the Consejo de Universidades Espa Plus or Minus Olas. If the Consejo agrees with ANICA Euro Trademark S approval, it will be included in the RUCT and ANICA registries. 4. Spanish Qualifications and Their Professional Effects All bachelor's and master's degrees accredited by ANICA enjoy full academic and professional effects in accordance with new and previous laws. Professional practice law in Spain is currently under revision. 
Before the Bologna process after four or five years of study the academic degree of a licentiate was reached. Depending on the official language of the university it was called licentiate license or licensa and is today considered equivalent to the master's degree according to the Bologna reform. A licentiate with a predefined qualification gave access to the last stage of further two or more years of studies for a doctoral's degree. Apart from this most universities offered a postgraduate diploma with up to two years of study. French-speaking universities called them Diplomi des Copyrightes Approfondis DEA or DES, the Italian-speaking university Post Laurea and German-speaking universities mostly Nach Diplom Studium. Today the federal legislation defines these postgraduate diplomas as Master of Advanced Studies or Executive Master of Business Administration degree. Universities may also offer the possibility to gain a diploma of advanced studies, less than 60 ECTS credits. These degrees do not normally give access to the doctorate study. The title degree is protected under UK law. All valid UK degrees are awarded by universities or other degree awarding bodies whose powers to do so are recognised by the UK government, hence they are known as recognised bodies. The standard first degree in England, Northern Ireland and Wales is the bachelor's degree conferred with honours. Usually this is a Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science degree. Other variants exist for example Bachelor of Education. It usually takes three years to read for a bachelor's degree. The honours are usually categorised into four classes. England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Scotland. North America. Canada. Quebec. Mexico. United States Current Levels of Attainment of Degrees First Class Honours, Second Class Honours, divided into, Upper Division, or Upper Second, Lower Division, or Lower Second. First Class Honours, Second Class Honours, divided into, Division 1, Division 2. Distinction Credit, Merit, Pass Candidates who have not achieved the standard for the award of honours may be admitted without honours to the ordinary bachelor's degree if they have met the required standard for this lesser qualification. Standard levels for each of these classes are 70% plus for a first, 60-69% to for a 2 colon 1, 50 to 59 percent for a 2 colon 2, 40 to 49 percent for a third and 30 percent plus for a pass degree, although this can vary by institution. The foundation degree is a qualification at lower than bachelor's level awarded following a two-year program of study that is usually vocational in nature. The foundation degree can be awarded by a university or college of higher education that has been granted foundation degree awarding powers by the UK government. This degree is comparable to an associate degree in the United States. The Universities of Oxford and Cambridge award honorary Master of Arts degrees to graduates of their bachelor's programs, following a specified period of time. This is comparable to the practice of the ancient universities in Scotland of awarding in MA for a first degree, and arguably reflects the rigorous standards expected of their graduates. Master's degrees such as Master of Arts or Master of Science are typically awarded to students who have undertaken at least a year of full-time postgraduate study, which may be taught or, in many cases, involve an element of research. Degrees such as Master of Philosophy or Master of Letters slash Literature are likely to be awarded for postgraduate degrees involving original research. A student undertaking a master's would normally be expected to already hold an honors degree in a relevant subject, 
hence the possibility of reaching master's level in one year. Some universities award a master's as a first degree following an integrated program of study. These degrees are usually designated by the subject, such as Master of Engineering for Engineering, Master of Physics for Physics, Master of Mathematics for Mathematics, and so on. It usually takes four years to read for them. Graduation to these degrees is always with honors. Master of Engineering in particular has now become the standard first degree in engineering at the top UK universities, replacing the older Bachelor of Engineering. The Master of Business Administration degree is highly valued by those seeking to advance in business as managers and decision makers. Doctoral degrees or doctorates such as the Doctor of Philosophy degree or Doctor of Education are awarded following a program of original research that contributes new knowledge within the context of the student's discipline. Doctoral degrees usually take three years full-time. Therefore, in the UK it may only take seven years to progress from undergraduate to doctoral level a euro in some cases six since having a master's is not always a precondition for embarking on a doctoral degree. This contrasts with nine years in the United States, reflecting differences in the educational systems. Some doctorates, such as the Doctor of Clinical Psychology qualification, confirm competence to practice in particular professions. There are also higher doctorates a Euro Doctor of Science and Doctor of Letters slash Literature that are typically awarded to experienced academics who have demonstrated a high level of achievement in their academic career, for example they may have published widely on their subject or become professors in their field. UK post-secondary qualifications are defined at different levels with levels 1 to 3 denoting further education and levels 4 to 8 denoting higher education. Within this structure, a foundation degree is at level 5, a bachelor's at level 6, at master's at level 7, and a doctoral degree at level 8. Full information about the expectations for different types of UK degree is published by the Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education. See also Graduate Certificate, Graduate Diploma, Postgraduate Certificate, Postgraduate Diploma, and British Degree Abbreviations. The standard first degree for students studying Arts or Humanities in Scotland is either a Bachelor of Arts or a Master of Arts. The standard undergraduate degree for Natural and Social Science subjects is the Bachelor of Science. Students can work towards a first degree at either ordinary or honors level. A general or ordinary degree takes three years to complete, an honors degree takes four years. The ordinary degree need not be in a specific subject, but can involve study across a range of subjects within the relevant faculty, in which case it may also be called a general degree, if a third year or junior honors subject is included the ordinary degree in that named discipline is awarded. The honors degree involves two years of study at a sub-honors level in which a range of subjects within the relevant faculty are studied, and then two years of study at honors level which is specialized in a single field. This also reflects the broader scope of the final years of Scottish secondary education, where traditionally five hires are studied compared to three English or Welsh A levels. The higher is a one-year qualification, as opposed to the two years of A levels, which accounts for Scottish honours degrees being a year longer than those in England. Advanced hires add an optional final year of secondary education, bringing students up to the level of their A-level counterparts A Euro students with strong A-levels or advanced hires may be offered entry directly into the second year at Scottish universities. Honours for MA or bachelor's degrees are classified into three classes. 
students who complete all the requirements for an honors degree, but do not receive sufficient merit to be awarded third class honors may be awarded a special degree. In most respects, the criteria for awarding qualifications at honors level and above are the same as in the rest of the UK. Postgraduate qualifications are not designated Master of Arts as in the rest of the UK, as this is an undergraduate degree. Postgraduate degrees in Arts and Humanities subjects are usually designated Master of Letters or, in Natural and Social Sciences, Master of Science. Non-doctoral postgraduate research degrees are usually designated Master of Philosophy or Master of Research. The postgraduate teaching qualification is the postgraduate diploma in education. Postgraduate qualifications are classified into four classes. In Canada, education is the responsibility of the provinces and territories, rather than the federal government. However, all of Canada follows the three-level Bachelor S.A. Euro Master S.A. Euro Doctorate system common to the Anglophone world, with a few variations. A common framework for degrees was agreed between the provinces and territories in 2007. Bachelor's degrees are normally three to four years in duration, although more commonly three years in Quebec. Master's degrees take one to three years, again with the exception of Quebec where they take one and a half to two years, and doctorates take a minimum of three years. Alone among Canadian provinces and territories, British Columbia offers two-year associate degrees, allowing credit to be transferred into a four-year bachelor's program. Three-year bachelor's degrees are normally ordinary degrees, while four-year degrees are honors degrees, an honors degree is normally needed for further study at master's level. In Canada, First professional degrees such as DDS, MD, PharmD, and LLB or JD are considered bachelor's level qualifications, despite their often being named as if they were doctorates. In the province of Quebec, the majority of students must attend college prior to entering university. Upon completion of a two-year pre-university program, such as in sciences or humanities, or a three-year technical program, such as nursing or computer science, college graduates obtain a college diploma, which is a prerequisite access for university-level studies. Although the previously mentioned college programs are typical, they are not offered in every institution in the province. Moreover, while a few other pre-university programs with various concentrations exist, Many other technical-slash-career programs are available depending on the college of choice. For example, Dawson College in Montreal has nearly 60 different programs leading to a college diploma. Special programs, such as physical rehabilitation therapy, are offered in some colleges as well. These programs are particularly interesting because they allow students to enter professional university programs, such as physiotherapy, without having to meet the usual grade and course prerequisites required from students holding a pre-university science diploma. A similar option is offered for college nursing graduates as they can pursue their studies in university to obtain a Bachelor of Nursing in two years. Additionally, whereas aspiring medical students are usually required to complete an undergraduate degree before applying to medical schools, Quebec College graduates have the option to enter. Education in Mexico follows a three-degree system similar to that of Canada and the U.S. The pre-university academic level is the baccalaureate, similar to high school. Students typically leave preparatoria at the age of 18 for university, at which point they choose to specialize in a specific academic area. After high school, students progress to university, 
where they study for a ta copyright nico superior universitario or a licenciatura, then a maestra a, then a doctorado. Once in university, students begin the carrera, the study of a precise academic branch like economics, business administration, sciences, law, engineering, or medicine. Students will be in university for 8 to 10 semesters of full-time study, which typically takes 4 a euro 5 years. Upon graduation, students receive a licenciatura in their chosen subject area, which is equivalent to an American bachelor's degree. They can also get the degree of Ingenieria or Medico that refers to an engineer or MD respectively. A medical preparatory year at McGill University and Universita Copyright de Mantra Copyright Al and then pursue medical studies for the four following years or, simply directly into the undergraduate medical education program at Universita Copyright Laval or Universita Copyright de Sherbrooke. Baccalaureate in Sacred Theology, Sacre Theologia Baccalaureatus, Licentiate in Sacred Theology, Sacre Theologia Licentiatus, Doctorate in Sacred Theology, Sacre Theologia Doctoratus. Baccalaureate in Philosophy, Philosophiae Baccalaureatus, Licentiate in Philosophy, Philosophiae Licentiatus. Doctorate in Philosophy, Philosophiae Doctoratus. Baccalaureate in Canon Law, Juris Canonici Baccalaureatus, Licentiate in Canon Law, Iris Canonici Licentiatus, Doctorate in Canon Law, Iris Canonici Doctoratus. Several Mexican universities offer students the possibility of obtaining an equivalent to an associate degree called in Mexico ta copyright nico superior universitario, studying only half of the licenciatura, with the possibility of finishing a full bachelor's degree later. This is done mainly in fields like engineering and computer sciences. After receiving the licenciatura, students may take extra courses called diplomados. These courses last for a euro 12 months and are a means to further study without continuing to the next degree level, usually studied to demonstrate that the student still updated in his field. Most students stay at this level, but some choose to continue to the maestra A, equivalent to the master's degree. Study at the maestra A level takes 1 a euro 3 years and mandates completion of a thesis. Postgraduate students in Mexico typically enter a master's program after a few years in the workforce and often continue working while studying. Traditionally, students who have completed the maestria may continue on to the doctorado, or the doctorate. Doctoral study typically lasts 3 a euro 4 years. In last years this schemes has become flexible such that in some PhD programs, students are accepted before, or not completing at all a master course. In the United States, since the late 19th century, the three-fold degree system of bachelor, master, and doctor has been in place, but has evolved into a slightly different pattern from the European equivalent. The U.S. Department of Education now classifies degrees in six categories, associate degrees, bachelor's degrees, first professional degrees, master's degrees, intermediate graduate qualifications, and research doctorates. The standard academic progression remains bachelor S.A. Euro master S.A. Euro doctorate. Most standard academic programs are based on the four-year bachelor's degree, most often Bachelor of Arts, or Bachelor of Science, a one- or two-year master's degree, or Master of Science, either of these programs might be as long as three years in length, and a further two to five years of coursework and research, culminating in comprehensive examinations in one or more fields plus perhaps some teaching experience, 
and then the writing of a dissertation for the doctorate, for a total of 10 or more years from starting the bachelor's degree to the awarding of the doctorate. This timetable is only approximate, however, as students in accelerated programs can sometimes earn a bachelor's degree in three years or, on the other hand, a particular dissertation project might take four or more years to complete. In addition, a graduate may wait an indeterminate time between degrees before candidacy in the next level, or even an additional degree at a level already completed. Therefore, there is no time limit on the accumulation of academic degrees. By far the most common research doctorate is the Doctor of Philosophy, comprising 98.1% of research doctorates in 2014. The Doctor of Education made up 1.1%, and all other research doctorates were less than 1% in total. Some schools, mostly junior colleges and community colleges and some four-year schools, offer an associate degree for two full years of study. These may be in professional or academic fields and the most common awards are the Associate of Arts and Associate of Science degrees. Articulation agreements may allow credit earned on an associate degree to be counted toward completion of a bachelor's degree. The first professional degree is a graduate-level degree program designed to prepare graduates for professional practice in various fields other than academic scholarship and research. First professional degrees require a minimum of two years prior college-level education to enter the program, and a minimum of six years total college-level education to complete the program. Most professional degree programs require a prior bachelor's degree for admission, and many require seven or eight years of total study. Many first professional degrees, e.g. MD, JD, or DO are named as doctorates but should not be confused with research doctorates such as the PhD, which are the highest degrees offered in the United States. First professional degrees should also not be confused with professional master's degrees such as the M.Arch. An MBA, which are classified as master's degrees or with intermediate graduate qualifications that also bear the title of doctor, such as D.Min or D.Sci. Intermediate graduate qualifications lie between master's level and the doctorate. They include awards such as advanced certificates, advanced graduate certificates, graduate diplomas, professional engineer status and professional diplomas, as well as specialist degrees such as Education Specialist, Doctor of Ministry, Doctor of Psychology and the Licentiate in Sacred Theology. In 21 U.S. jurisdictions, religious institutions can be authorized to grant religious-exempt degrees without accreditation or government oversight. Such degrees are used primarily to attain church-related employment. Traditionally more men than women attended and earned degrees at the world's universities. A milestone was reached in the United States according to results of the 2010 census, as women surpassed men in attaining master's degrees, for the first time. The U.S. Census reports that 10.5 million men have master's degrees or higher, compared with 10.6 million women. The first year that women surpassed men in earning bachelor's degrees was in 1996. Students, the media, and the general public have shown much concern over the value of getting a higher degree in the U.S. ever since the Great Recession of 2007. A 2015 survey of 2,000 adults, implemented by an education technology company called Greenwood Hall, reported that more than half of the graduates surveyed believe those getting their degree now will be receiving a lower return on their investment than their counterparts 10 a euro 15 years ago. 
media coverage of the rising costs of higher education and increased student debt have also affected the public a euro trademark s perceptions of whether higher degrees are still worthwhile statistics citing that college graduates make around one million dollar more in their lifetimes than those who did na euro trademark t attend college and living longer healthier lives work in favor of those who argue the continued value of higher degrees. Studies like the 2011 Learning Gains study by Aram and Roxa, on the other hand, reported that only 55% of students had any learning gains during their first two years of college, which favors the argument that investing in higher education may not still be worth it. As academics continue researching and dissecting these arguments, education remains a hot topic in the U.S. as shown by President Obama recently setting a national goal for the U.S. to once again have the highest proportion of college graduates in the world by 2020. The Australian Qualifications Framework covers 10 levels, of which 6 a Euro 10 correspond to academic degrees. These are the associate degree, which normally takes two years, the bachelor degree, which normally takes three years, the bachelor honors degree, which normally takes four years, the master degree, which normally takes one a euro two years for research or coursework degrees and three a euro four years for an extended degree and follows on from either a bachelor or honors degree, and the doctoral degree which normally takes 3 a euro 4 years following on from a master's degree. Also included within the higher education system are graduate certificates and graduate diplomas, both of which are at level 8, as well as advanced diplomas, at level 6 and diplomas at level 5. In Australia, most degrees are issued ungraded, with bachelor's degrees with honours being the exception. Doctorates in Australia may be research doctorates or professional doctorates. Some bachelor's degrees may take longer than three years to complete, and double bachelor's degrees are common. Like Australia, New Zealand has a 10-level qualifications framework, and a referencing exercise has found a one-to-one -one correspondence between the levels of the two frameworks. However, the names given to qualifications at different levels are not the same and New Zealand does not have associate degrees, thus only levels 7 a Euro 10 correspond to academic degrees. These are the bachelor's degree, bachelor honors degree, master's degree, and the doctoral degree. In addition to these, the NZQF has certificates across levels 1 a Euro 6 diplomas at levels 5 and 6, graduate certificates and graduate diplomas at level 7, and postgraduate certificates and postgraduate diplomas at level 8. Another referencing exercise, comparing the NZQF to the 10-level Irish National Framework for Qualifications found that degrees were comparable but that further work was needed to improve compatibility for the sub-degree levels. Non-degree qualifications at level 7 a Euro 9 were not included in the study. In New Zealand, master's degrees may be awarded with classified honours, or with distinction or merit. Perceptions of the value of a degree in the US Oceania Australia New Zealand South America Argentina Brazil Colombia Chile Venezuela Pontifical Universities Undergraduate students in Brazilian universities graduate either with a bachelor's degree, a licentiate degree or a technologist degree. Bachelor degrees in Brazil normally takes four or five years of full-time study to complete, with the exception of the human medicine course which requires six years. Licentiate degree, normally takes four years length degrees, 
available for students who want to qualify as school teachers. Licenciatura courses exist mostly in mathematics, humanities, and natural sciences. Technologist degree is available in technology-related fields and can be normally obtained in three years. These degrees are turned to fast entry the industry. Admission as an undergraduate student in most top public or private universities in Brazil requires that the applicant pass a competitive entrance examination known as vestibular. Contrary to what happens in the United States, candidates must declare their intended university major when they register for the vestibular. Although it is theoretically possible to switch majors afterwards, that is actually quite rare in Brazil. Undergraduate curricula tend to be more rigid than in the United States and there is little room to take classes outside one's major. Individuals who hold either a bachelor's degree, licentiate, or technologist are eligible for admission into graduate courses leading to advanced master's or doctor's degrees. Criteria for admission into master's and doctor's programs vary in Brazil. Some universities require that candidates take entrance exams, others make admission decisions based solely on undergraduate transcripts, letters of recommendation, and possibly oral interviews. In most cases, however, especially for the doctorate, the candidate is required to submit a research plan and one faculty member must agree to serve as his slash her supervisor before the candidate can be admitted into the program, the exception are the natural sciences postgraduate programs, that accepts students with very broad and slash or vague research prospects with sometimes the prospect is given in prompted during the interview preferring to let the students define their study program and advisor. In the course of the first year of studies, there are two types of postgraduate programs, Lotto Sensu and Stricto Sensu. Specializations or MBAs are courses that include taking a minimum number of graduate classes but with no need to do research nor defend a thesis, only present a final work showing the knowledge. It's a professional level where theory and practice are focused in a broad sense. Professional master's or master's degrees usually takes one to two years of full-time study. Requirements for an academic master's degree include taking a minimum number of advanced graduate classes and submitting a research thesis which is examined orally by a panel of at least two examiners sometimes including one external member who must be from another university or research institute. The emphasis of the thesis must be in adding some value to the academic knowledge, but not necessarily in being original. Doctor's degrees normally take four additional years of full-time study to complete. Requirements for obtaining a doctor's degree include taking additional advanced courses, passing an oral qualifying exam, and submitting a longer doctoral dissertation which must represent a significant original contribution to knowledge in the field to which the dissertation topic is related. That contrasts with master's thesis, which, in addition to being usually shorter than doctoral dissertations, are not required to include creation of new knowledge or revision slash reinterpretation of older views slash theories. The doctoral dissertation is examined in a final oral exam before a panel of at least two members, usually including one or two external examiners from another university or research institute. Finally, a small number of Brazilian universities, most notably the public universities in the state of S.A. Pão Paulo still award the title of Lever Docent, which is of higher standing than a doctorate and is obtained, similar to the German habilitation, by the submission of a second thesis and approval in a Lever Docencia examination that includes giving a public lecture before a panel of full professors. See also Universities and Higher Education in Brazil. In Colombia, 
the system of academic degrees is based in the British model been similar to the US model. After completing their baccalaureate, students can take one of three options. The first one is called a professional, which is similar to a bachelor's degree requiring from four to six years of study according to the chosen program. The other option is called a ta copyright nico. This degree consists in two and a half years of study and prepares the student for technical or mechanical labors. Finally, the third option is called a Aitpna Superscript 3 Loga, and consist of three years of study. After this, students, now called professional Aitpna Superscript 3 Logos or Ta Copyright Nikos, can opt for higher degrees. Formal education after the bachelor's degree is the master's degree with the title of maestro, and doctorate's degree known as doctorado. The master's degree normally consists of two years. Students also can take an specialization course, a specialization superscript 3N, equivalent to a graduate certificate degree, after their bachelor's degree. These programs, like in the U.S. are very popular, because it requires only one to two years of study. A similar situation in Colombia, when compared to the U.S. system, is that the students may not go directly to the doctorado without having the master degree first. In Chile, the system in a nutshell is as follows, quite similar to the case described for Colombia. Students may opt to be professionals or ta copyright nikos. After completion of high school, students may follow professional or technical studies at universities or technical schools. Only universities and the academies of the armed forces can give academic degrees. In general, traditional professions require an academic degree but there are many professions that not require the degree because they were conceived as strictly professional not academic. The degrees are as follows. Licenciado it is similar to the bachelor, but to get it is necessary to complete at least eight semesters of study on the subjects which are part of the major. This degree is enough to continue developing an academic career, however, to get a professional title which is not academic, but allows you to get a professional practice, you have to continue one or two additional years of study. Magister is the equivalent to the master's degree in English-speaking countries. Doctorado is the equivalent to the doctorate or PhD. There is no separate classification for professional doctorates. In particular, the engineering profession may be complicated for the foreigner since there are two types of engineers, those who got an academic degree such as civil engineers or armed forced polytechnical engineers, and those who are ingenieros and ejecutia superscript 3N which are considered terrain engineer more focused to apply the engineering in the field and completed only four years of study. They are not able, by law to authorize plans or drawings like engineers with a degree or architects. Titles in Venezuela start with the Certificado de Educacia Superscript 3 and BA SICA, awarded upon completing 9th grade. The next title is earned upon completing 11th grade, and may be Bachiller en Ciencias, Bachiller en Humanidades, or Ta Copyright Nico en Ciencias. The reason for this diversity is because some schools provide vocational education as part of their high school curriculum while elsewhere, the student is required to decide whether to study sciences or humanities for the last two years of secondary school. Titles at the higher education level usually depend on the institution handing them out. Technical schools award the student with the title of Ta Copyright Nico Superior Universitario. Universities award the student with the title of Ingeniero or with the title Licenciado after completing a five-year program. 
The engineer have more physics subjects than the licentiate, but both are five-year careers. Some higher education institutions may award diplomados but the time necessary to obtain one varies. Medical doctors are awarded the title Ma Copyright Dico Cirigiano after completing a six-year career. Postgraduate education follows conventions of the United States. Pontifical universities around the world such as the Pontifical University, St. Patrick's College, Maynooth in Ireland, the Pontifical and Royal University of Santo Tomas in Manila, the Catholic University of America, the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas, Angelicum in Rome the Universita Copyright Catholique de Louva in Belgium, and the Pontifical Catholic University of Peru depend for their status as pontifical universities and for the nature of their academic degrees on the Pope through the Congregation for Catholic Education. The nature of academic degrees from ecclesiastical institutions of education is outlined in the Apostolic Constitution Sapientia Christiana. In distinction to secular or Catholic universities, which are academic institutions for the study and teaching of a broad range of disciplines, ecclesiastical or pontifical universities are usually composed of three principal ecclesiastical faculties, theology, philosophy, and canon law, and at least one other faculty. A pontifical university specifically addresses Christian revelation and disciplines correlative to the evangelical mission of the Church as set out in the Apostolic Constitution Sapientia Christiana. There are three cycles of degrees that constitute the core of degrees granted by pontifical universities, the first cycle leading to the baccalaureate degree, the second cycle leading to the licentiate degree the third cycle leading to the doctorate. From this core pontifical universities confer degrees including, theology, philosophy, canon law, 